All right. Glasses, no glasses? I think they look sharp. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I would found them in my car yesterday. It's awesome. Good find. So, hey, uh, I'm Derek, and I'm here today with... Marty. Marty, thanks so much for being with me, and uh, I like your pin. Thanks. Uh, where, where'd you come from today, and, and what's your role here? Uh, well, I came from the hill towns of the Pioneer Valley in western Massachusetts. Uh, I work on a small organic hillside uh, herb farm, an organic medicinal herb farm. And uh, yeah, I came down here, uh, I heard the call, and I uh, wanted to answer it, I wanted to help get some folks down here. And uh, so we organized a bus from western Massachusetts and uh, we came down to be part of the first ever Eden at the FDA for GMO labeling and food democracy. And so why is this issue important to you? Man, uh, I've been involved with uh, different environmental and social justice issues, uh, en uh, energy and climate, a lot of these things. And uh, when it comes to triage, uh, GMOs in our food supply and in our biosphere are a patient bleeding out in the emergency room. Uh, every crop that we allow to get put out there and commercialized is doing irreparable harm to the genetic integrity of our biosphere. Um, it's get, once it gets out there, it's out there. It's self-propagating. Those genes are out there and, um, and it makes it a lot harder to clean up. So um, I'm concerned about the safety of our food supply and to be honest with you, I want to get our food supply cleaned up before I have kids and I want to do that relatively soon. So the job of the FDA is allegedly to protect the food supply from, you know, dangers. So uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, your assessment of their, their role in protecting citizens from food dangers? You know what? Sometimes I almost want to thank them for illustrating perfectly the corporate corruption of our government in the revolving door. You look at the, uh, the FDA's official stance, it's a policy statement, in the 1992 policy statement on GMOs, written by Michael Taylor, former lawyer of Monsanto, later the vice president of Monsanto, now the U.S. food safety czar, and it basically says that, that GMO foods are substantially equivalent to regular foods, even though they're different enough to get patents, mind you, uh, they're substantially equivalent and therefore require no safety testing or labeling. No mandatory t testing or labeling. People think the FDA does all sorts of testing of GM foods, none. It's, it's voluntary on part of the chemical manufacturers uh, to do the testing and, and that's that. So uh, it's, it's a classic case of the fox guarding the hen house. We have Michael Taylor in there um, rubber stamping everything going through and now with the Monsanto Protection Act that got snuck onto the continuing resolutions bill, it's even harder for the courts to stop the planting and production of new untested GM crops even if there are health risks identified. One of the things I noticed when I came out here today is the law enforcement. Can you tell me a bit about the role of law enforcement at this event? Well, uh, from what I understand, uh, DHS, Department of Homeland Security, has been rather interested in what we're doing. And, um, and they, we've had some communications with them and they wanted to make sure we weren't, you know, going to pull any hijinks, which I would suspect of us, you know, some sort of uh, direct action or civil disobedience. But we were very clear from the start that this is a peaceful picnic style protest, family friendly, and we don't want any trouble. And I even heard, uh, I don't know if I can get a direct quote, but I did hear that some of the local enforcement uh, law enforcement are supportive and consider Monsanto to be criminal and, and to uh, and they support what we're doing out here and wanting us to get them out of our government. So uh, this is an issue that crosses boundaries, that crosses partisan lines um, and that's why I'm really excited to have all these people here and more people showing up and people across the country and the world seeing that um, people are standing up for the integrity of their food supply and to get the, cor the corrupt influence of these uh, corporate dollars out of our government. If I'm an everyday person watching you talking in this video, what can I do if, if, if not uh, be a part of this protest? What can I do to enhance food freedom? Well, first and foremost, you got to get informed. Um, just do some searches out there. Whatever you come across, ask yourself, what is the intent, what is the motivation of the information that I'm receiving? Because there's a, obviously there's a lot of financial interest in causing people to believe one thing over the other. But do the research, watch some documentaries, both sides of the story, and, and see how things sit with you. And discuss it with friends and neighbors and coworkers. Get talking about these issues. As minor as it might seem, you know, learning and talking, this is really an awareness issue because once we drive to towards a tipping point of consumer rejection of GM foods, that's going to send the market signals right up the the, the food chain, uh, so to speak. And whether or not there's regulation, the the, the food manufacturers are going to get the hint, just like they did in Europe, and they're going to pull the GM ingredients from the shelves. And that's that's one 
one way, a very realistic way that we may be doing this. And we're seeing that with Whole Foods making their announcement of going GMO free by 2018. That may be one of the final nails in the coffin for GM Foods because everyone else is going to be following suit. So you've been really generous with your time. Last question is about if this event is a failure and the FDA refuses to regulate GM foods, what's the next step for Occupy Monsanto? Oh man, well I, I, I'm not, I mean I'm not privy to the strategy of, of this campaign, uh, but what I do see happening in our collective consciousness uh, is especially with the Monsanto Protection Act, people are pissed. The things are bubbling through. Um, the thing that just erupted, um, honestly, with, with Occupy-style energy behind it is the uh, March on Monsanto that last I heard, as of, te as of the 4th, there were 10,000 people signed up to attend uh, marches in, you know, in their local cities and towns, uh, symbolically demanding that we get Monsanto out of our government. And, um, and I'd say that's the next big, big action and, and thing to happen. Um, but it's going to be a matter of escalation. And now that we're having a groundswell of grassroots support uh, to take direct action to protect the organic integrity of our food supply. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you. Peace. If you want to tweet at me, it's up.